and his name is it's John Bonday. Hello Internet, it is John Bunday and today I am finally going to be testing my Master System Converter for my Mega Drive. I got this probably hmm, a couple of months back ago now, and but I finally have some games to try, so let's give it a whirl. So, first of all... First game we're going to try is Sonic the Hedgehog. My first ever Sonic game. And uh, my preferred Sonic the Hedgehog 1 game over the Mega Drive. And nothing! Right, okay, let's try that again. Right. Hey! Proves that uh, not only does the converter work, but so does the cartridge. So, let's give it a whirl. Now this takes me back to my childhood. The amount of hours I would spend on my um, eldest sister's uh, Mega Drive, not Mega Drive, that's what I got, uh, Master System. The point was that I just loved this blue hedgehog. Uh, one big downside though is that um, you can't pick up your um, fallen rings, so but I'm guessing that's a limitation of uh, the system rather than... Got a good time bonus. It's a pity this game isn't talked about as much compared to uh, the Mega Drive version. The down arrow monitor you saw is actually um, this game's version of checkpoints, so. Uh, get there, because that is where the Chaos Emerald is. So I still remember even after all of these years. Says, hmm, it's definitely around here somewhere. There we go. I mean, compared to the special stages of the Mega Drive version, this is something I uh, appreciate that you can just get the emeralds in the levels. There are still special stages, but that's just for getting extra lives when it continues, but... Then... 
that is not what I was meant to do. So with the first level you could just go nuts. With this one you do actually have to uh, do some platforming. Okay. And special stage? Yeah. So this was out on the Game Gear as well, but apparently the Master System is a better version purely because the fact you actually got the uh, bigger screen. As in, the, the image is actually... Uh, you see more of the screen is what I'm trying to say compared to the Game Gear version. So, like, the boss of the second or third stage is actually easier because of the fact there's more room to move about and not get hit. Which is the uh, jungle level I'm referring to. I mean, I haven't actually played the uh, Game Gear version, but... There we go, extra life, thank you. Dr. Robotnik has appeared. This is, I mean, I like the fact that you actually have this map to show you the island that you're exploring. And the fact that Dr. Robotnik is there. You don't get that in any of the other Sonic games. This boss music takes me back. Not exactly the hardest boss fight in history. I mean, the fact you have no rings that doesn't really help, but... Right, let's try my other game. Right. Streets of Rage. And I actually have got both of these completing blocks, which was in my recent February uh, pickup video. I mean, if you're curious, so. Ooh. Ah. And already you can hear like the familiar uh, Streets of Rage music, even though it's playing through the master system. Nineteen ninety three Sega music, nineteen ninety one Yuzo Kashiro. So you see, there are, there are differences, but they he really did try to make it work with the console. Let's go 
with Adam. I mean, just... I think it's just really impressive what they did with, you know, an 8-bit console. I mean, all these colours, and the fact we've got a beat em up a beat em up even. And you can, you can see the enemies for, like, like for their 16-bit counterparts. I mean, it's a pity you don't get a two-player on this. Now, now that I have the game, I really... I started doing the Master System challenges after this one already been put up. But I need to go back and do all the games that I um, wasn't around for. When I said wasn't around for, I wasn't making videos for. Hey! No. Bad, bad guy. I mean... As someone who is a very vocal Streets of Rage, like, fan, I can't believe I never, like, picked this up when I was younger. Um, I haven't tried Streets of Rage 2, but... For what I've seen, that looks, I believe, very different compared to the Mega Drive version, but I... I'm just going based on, um... Memories of seeing it. I tried the um, ROM of this a couple of months back just to see what it's like and that was what made me go yeah I need to actually get this on a cartridge because um, I've also been very vocal about my lack of space to actually store um, physical games but this is like one like no I as such a big fan of the series I need to and how good the port this is I just I have to own it um, I don't know if you've taken a look at the prices of um, uh, Streets of Rage 2 on the Master System. Yeah, they're expensive. God damn. Like, triple figures, kind of expensive. Oh, come on! I just got my health back as well. One thing that seems to be a bit of a limitation in this version is that um, I can't throw people like how I would. Like, if I face them and grab them, then it doesn't um, like allow me to chuck them. But if I get grabbed from behind, and then if I do a kick, then do it, it allows me to throw them. It's just... I don't know what that is. It's just... So I have a super move, I actually oh, don't know how to um, activate it. Like... Like, do... Oh John, if you actually read the manual that you showed us, maybe you'll be able to read how to do it. Hmm, yes, maybe I would.
round one clear. Right, so I've proved it works. I am very happy with my purchases. So until next time, Internet, you have a great day. Bye.